Alright, so I just got to my hotel, and there's uh, three beds here. I don't know what's going on with that, but this room has this like distinct, like old school, like vintage smell to it. I kind of like it. But uh, yeah, my flight was super nice. I kind of slept on the flight. Don't really remember. I was kind of like. It was weird, but uh, yeah, super smooth flight, landed, uh, took a tag, I mean, took an Uber, got here, literally met up with everyone in the lobby, like Ben, Rob, and uh, just literally everyone was in the lobby downstairs, uh, and we're all about to go eat right now. So yeah, just throw all my stuff in, gonna go downstairs, gonna grab some breakfast with the team, and yeah, I'll see you guys there. That bag right there, that's pretty much the clothes. That's, that's the uniform. That is the uniform for the store. Oh, and what are these? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> so you're to see white so monsters keeping me awake. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought the store thing was in two days, but it turns out it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Can okay, like so. last minute, like overrid the entire company's choice. I said your email. Tomorrow. Come on, come he, on. He did send me an email. I, I do have to. Like, I forget the password on email, so like when I get back on, then definitely check it out. But yeah, Cam and Calum, we're about to go. We're about to go have some breakfast. Here we go. That's right. <laughs> and here we are. This is the store. The day before it opens. A little smaller than the uh, London pop-up shop, but... Oh, fuck! Yeah, I made it this time. I made it. I made a poster. I'm happy. Got some female stock here. Got some more. Where the fuck was the men's shit at? Come on, guys like to work out, too. Fitting rooms over here. Another fitting room. That's a generous courtesy. Get a fitting room. Oh, there's an upstairs part. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be where all the men's shit is. Um, uh. Alright, so after our little stroll, we went to the store real quick, like you guys saw, and we're here at this uh, cafe. I don't know what it's called, but it's me, Gabrielle, over here, the living assassin keeping us safe in the streets. And we have Cameron. The other assassin. The other assassin. <laughs> the sneaky evil one. But yeah, we just we got some club sandwiches, some cookie dough. I got some uh, cafe lattes over here, and we're about to eat. Go to the store, film like a quick little promo there, and then later today I'm probably just gonna train. I don't know. We'll, 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 I have no idea what's gonna happen. We have to see how this goes. But I'm really tired right now, so I need this coffee to bring me back from the dead. I don't know if I told you guys, but I got the club sandwich with salmon that I deleted. Cam deleted his. And we have Gabriel just very calmly, just very peacefully finishing his meal, <laughs> like a like a monk. But uh, what's it called? We ordered cookie dough for dessert, and that shit's not here yet. I'm kind of upset. Cam, how bad do you want some cookie dough right now? I really want some cookie dough. I really want some cookie dough too. But hopefully it'll come, but yeah, we're gonna eat the cookie dough. Then we're gonna go to the store. Look at this horseshoe action right here. God damn! You try to push down the whole stack. That's your weak point? <laughs> Jesus! Alright, <laughs> Alright, so I'm currently in an Uber with Robin and Ben. Uh, we're about to go to, we're going to Chipotle, right? Yes. Going to Chipotle, I don't know if I'm going to get anything there. I might grab like a small little meal and then after that we're going to go to the gym, train. And I've been awake for, I don't know, maybe like 48 hours at this point. So if I don't train right now, like I'm just going to like take my entire tub of pre-workout with a splash of water, do a session, go back to the hotel and die. And if I wouldn't do that, I would just die right now. And then my sleep schedule would be screwed and everything would just be like messed up. So. I'm gonna do that, probably just hit some arms, milk some glycogen, then refill it up later so I could be full and happy and just feel really good tomorrow. But yeah, we'll see you at Chipotle. I think it's just, I'm too like, tired and sleep deprived to eat an actual burrito, so I just got a little thing of guac with some chips over here. Ben got a burrito. Robin wants to get shredded tomorrow, so she's not gonna get anything. And yeah, that's the gist of it. And Ben got a Coke too, I just got a water. Evian, obviously, the French Isles were in France, so that's what we're gonna drink. Doing this, uh, got a rage right here. Oh, he just put it all in. Mm. Wait, what you, what are you? Ben, this is a big scoop. I don't have my scoop on me, so I had to put it in this thing. Dude, you could take like at least, at least 75% of that and you'd be fine. You'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Bootleg Francis over here. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. You'll end up like Ben over here. So we're done our workout, just had like a little bullshit session. I was like horrifically weak because I don't really sleep at all, but 
about to go to the hotel. I'm gonna try not to crash. And then when we have our dinner tonight, me and Ben are just gonna be in the corner with our, he's gonna hook up a hotspot and we're just gonna be refreshing our Coinbase app and just like jizzing over how much the Bitcoin value is increasing. If you guys aren't into Bitcoin yet, fucking get there immediately. It's the future. Day two of the store. It's time to get some breakfast. Just finished my breakfast sandwich. Drinking an OJ. Oh, we got a 10K going on right now. I know a few people were talking about this race yesterday, and yeah, I am happy as shit. I'm not one of those people running. That does not look fun right now. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, so right now we're gonna have to finesse our way across the street. Uh oh. We gotta go that way, so. Aw, oh, shit. I don't block anyone. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we made it. That's the parking. So. And we're here. So, we're about to open up. We have everyone outside. They come to the doors, and if they wanna get stuff, they go up down there. And if they wanna meet the athletes, we're gonna be over here on this nice little. So the store is finally a wrap. This is day two, it's like 6 p.m. We're putting everything away, cleaning the shit, and me and Nico over here, we're about to... Hey, what's up guys? Mm -hmm. Sorry for my bad English. <laughs> no, his English has improved like drastically <laughs> since I last saw him along with this physique. He's made a stupid amount of progress, but yeah, we're about to go back to the hotel in a little bit. Maybe go on the roof, and I think the Eiffel Tower is within a Mavic's seven kilometer distance, so we might go out for a little, uh, I might go out for a potentially extremely risky flight, and either I get the most cinematic shots of all time, or my shit gets shot down by military personnel. So we just left the store, and we're stopping by Subway, getting a few little snacks. Nico's inside getting his foot long. I'm not gonna get anything because I just ate. I'm just going to get a chocolate chip cookie. No, what are you going to get? Or are you just going to sit there like a happy young man? Well, you see, David, when you're on the macros that I'm on, right, <laughs> you can't leave your place at Subway. Uh -huh. Check this out, ready? 500 grams of protein, right? <laughs> Three grams of carbs. <laughs> what was my fats again, Elf? Seven grams of fat, that was it, seven grams. That's some Ronnie Coleman type shit. You're the <laughs> literally the inverted, you're the opposite of Ronnie Coleman. A what would he do? Ronnie Coleman, he does 600 grams of protein a day, like actually. 600 grams of protein? Can his body use that much protein? You're, right. Oh. David Lay, you're a, a young, in shape man who understands yes. protein synthesis and all that kind of stuff. Can Ronnie Coleman, you, can his body actually, I don't know, synthesize, is that the right word? 600 grams of protein. Oh, well, you're, you're not synthesizing, you're eating the 600. Okay, Look, can, can he, can he use 600 grams of protein a day? Considering how much lean body mass he has, which is an absurdly alienated amount, and how much steroids he's on probably at least a five grams of like actual gear you can use a, a lot more protein he's probably not using all 600 but you could definitely like maybe he's using most of it like so to conclude david's little statement there ronnie is a pretty big lad by all accounts would you agree i think ronnie's a pretty big lad new girl with us is new member of staff right and i was like, oh, and I knew she was like two doors up. So Dave, I mean like 302, whatever it was. Yeah. And I heard him and his boys go to the room. Have another go. No, 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 no. <laughs> no like, And this new girl opens the door and Davey lays to there. It's like, like late at night, she's like in her robe and shit. Open like. this. He, he's got his camera pointed because he thought it was going to be me. Uh. He's got his camera pointed in her face. So as soon as, as soon as the door opens, he's filming her. And then he's like, <gasps> I'm sorry. And then I'll be yeah, here. Really it's right so now. funny. Yeah. yeah. He's always filming. Um, I was filming. But yeah, no, I don't know why I just filmed that, but that was a story. You guys saw that if you saw my last vlog. But no, me and Noel are about to go to my room, get my drone. I'm not and I'm not should, wait. You're about to go to your you're room. You're going to bail me out of jail. So wait, are we just going to meet on the uh, roof? Yeah, go up to six. We'll meet you up there. All right, six. so meet up at six. Like, wait, yeah, meet up at six. Yeah. All right, cool. Perfect. Fantastic.
What's that? Which time? Nah. Like literally now. Okay. I'm about to go to my get my drone go right up. Operation sketchy as fuck. Start time. What the Let's fuck? What kind of nice big ass room is this? Why is your roof so high? Damn. Stay bowling. Stay bowling. That's why I like ever go up the stairs. Yeah, it's my room. You've been right next to me this whole time. Uh, so weird. It's fucked up to hold this shit. Dude, I'm the best vlog in the ever. Oh, look at the monitor. Look at the screen. Look at the damn screen. <laughs> oh my god, I've literally been in this coat for the whole time. There's a door that connects our room. I'm oh. so not happy about that. Yes, full battery. How fast do you get your Mavic ready? That is crazy. Alright, so we're on the rooftop of the hotel over here, floor number six. I have no idea where the Eiffel Tower is, but we have my Mavic right here, and this is Whitney's Mavic right here, being operated by not her, which is, that's, it sucks that I'm flying my own if I crash, and I'm absolutely fucked. It got floored, stapled to the bottom of Los Angeles sidewalk. It was terrible. <laughs> Sticker still on there. But yeah, um, I don't know where the Eiffel Tower is. I'm just going to fly up, look for it, fly there, and then... Hopefully, it's that way? Alright, we got this. Let's go. <laughs> so people in the, just right by the Eiffel Tower, they're just like, oh, huh? they're just shooting? Yeah, they just shoot it up in the sky, drones. No, they do not. They just shoot it up. Whitney Simmons, you're about to see David's drone go down. And this is not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. <sighs> How high does it go? Very meters, like 500 meters. Yeah, have you never? Know? Are we hang on, hang on? Let's, yeah. I don't like that sticker. That's creepy. Yeah, normally that's freaking me out as well. I'm not happy about this sticker. I don't know why'd you put it there? I want you to take it off. No, that's how it came. I'm getting you, anxiety. You attack. <laughs> Check him. Right, well, boys, on three. Oh, Dave's getting nervous. All right, ready? Sorry, Robin. You're not flying like that. I'm just gonna use takeoff. He's, he's doing slide to take off. Yeah, perv. Oh no, safety update! Au revoir! Oh yes, I have permission to fly here, yes. Wait. Aircraft updated to comply with national uh, rules. Cannot take off. Really? really? Yeah. Just take David's footage. Did you hear that? Did you hear what the other drone said? What? It said updated for national rules, cannot take off. <laughs> updated for national rules? My shit's already disconnected. Fuck. Already? Alright, you can have this footage, we gotta go 50-50 on if this drone gets like, <laughs> shot out of the- This hotel the is that way. So the loop Hold on, I'm gonna right find here, it. And the Eiffel Tower is this way, yeah. What, who's this? Oh, David. David. You can see the triangle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely not winning. It's trying. No, we may transition. Have you what the hell? the tower, though? Um, I just started flying that way, in hopes to see it, and then the shit just got... Oh, no, it's just black and it's gone. <laughs> Seven kilometers away. You've never seen right like, anybody as unbothered about when their drone disconnects as David. When my drone disconnects, I'm like this in the air, <gasps> and David. The amount of times I go, oh man, my drone disconnected. <laughs> oh, this is Dave. You got cool, off on, off nice, the great. It's just crash mid flight. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen how much he doesn't care when he's so casual? Care. It's just irritating. David, yes, I have permission. David, update us. Update us. I mean, I would love to give you an update, but I would have to like see the screen for longer than two seconds at a time to like know what's happening. Why is it? <laughs> this is so. Come on. Sport mode. <laughs> I get my nimble shots in sport mode. Hashtag humble. Your nimble gimbal shots. <laughs> that is the creepiest thing. <laughs> I, I I thought you would open that door first. I did. You open your hood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it literally just hit me right now that there's another door here. Now both of our rooms. So it's the next day right now. Currently, me and Cam Healy. We're in the lobby just chilling out, waiting for Nico. He's about to come in like five minutes and we're just gonna go stroll through Paris a little bit, actually visit the Eiffel Tower for the first time. And uh, by the time we're like maybe done eating our breakfast and uh, saw the Eiffel Tower, we see the Eiffel Tower, Cam has to go back to the UK, unfortunately. unfortunately. He's leaving. Yeah, so leaving. he's leaving and pretty much like half the other Gymshark guys left yesterday and I'm literally the only person in Paris staying an extra night and then tomorrow I'm leaving for the airport but yeah after Cam leaves um, roughly at that time me and Nico we're gonna go train a little bit get some type of workout probably chest and yeah it is what it is Cam's leaving Miss you already, David. This, this is a tragedy I don't like this <laughs> I don't like we have a cup aka a bowl of eggs 
some uh, avocado and some bread right here, some leaves. We have ham healy cool. over here. Mountain chocolate. Oh, with some uh, mountain chocolate. I thought that was sear for a second, but yeah, he's got the waffle. And we got Nico with the chicken Caesar salad. Strong. All right, so we finally made it to the gym, right? Guess how much the guest pass was. Right now, it's in the comments. Guess right now, <laughs> before I say it, just take a guess. For both of us, fucking 100 euros. Oh, Look at this place. I feel like I'm at a museum. That's ridiculous. But yeah, so we just got downstairs. We're gonna pull out our shit away in the locker. And yeah, we're gonna go train and really get a hundred euros worth of our off training. <laughs> yeah. Get a hard workout. Definitely. Is. Feel guilty if I'm wrong. Alright, so I actually feel pretty good right now. I'm just waiting for the bench press to be available. And she could, right? If you guys see right here, the 45 pound plates on this side of the world are 20 kgs. And back at home in the U.S., it's 20.4 kgs. Now, I know that's a small negligible difference, but when you actually had a bunch of plates added up, it doesn't make a difference if 315 is like more like 305 or like 307, 310, something like that. But, yeah, I'm just warming up, getting some blood flow on my back. And I do feel really good right now because I haven't put in a few days. And, yeah, we'll see what we can get on this bench. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how you're doing 100 kilos, just like... Let's see how these weights feel in Paris. <laughs> how do they feel? Does it feel in Paris? <sighs> Doesn't feel that good. I don't think I slept enough, but it's whatever. Um, I'm, just, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm just going to do a bunch of reps. I want to do, um, I don't know, one and a half weights. Just rub it out. Half please? Yeah, it's uh, like a 20 kilo and a 10. Yeah. Let's do some reps. Want to do that? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. It's just the weirdest gym I've ever been in. Like, this is like. This is the best fitness exercise. <laughs> I'm always doing that. This is the secret. What? Like. This is perfect for the calves, guys. <laughs> I tell you. Literally looks like a medieval torture device or like some cow milking weird shit. I don't even know. But, like, this gym's like a museum. Like, this, just punching bags here. Like, I don't know. Like, this is something else, like Paris is just all about like I guess like fashion and like style and just like making shit look cool. Yeah, this gym definitely looks cool. I feel like this is what people from like Assassin's Creed train, like I'm just, I don't know, I'm just getting that vibe. We just stumbled across something. These are the juiciest calves I've ever seen in my entire life and there's not a single person with muscle mass that I've seen in Paris. Then you have this fucking Google Maps action. Alright, so I think it's been about maybe three or four days since I came out from Paris and in those few days, I've gone to New York so many times, and actually today, like, I was woken up by a phone call at 11 a.m., and I had to go straight to New York. I literally just got back an hour ago, so I've been going to New York so much for basically just, like, modeling and castings and all that, which I'll talk about later in future videos. I'm actually going to start vlogging more of my trips, uh, vlogging more of my trips up there because I've been going there just so much. It's kind of, it's kind of absurd, so, like, when, I, when I'm home, it literally feels like I'm on vacation because, like, in the past 30 days, I've just been to New York so much, but... Anyways, you guys saw earlier in the video, I talked about, uh, I had like a little caption pretty much saying that I couldn't vlog anything at day one, and the reason for that was just because it was just so busy, it was just, like overwhelmingly packed, and I basically came like semi-unprepared, I just kind of had my camera on me with my bag, and there were just so many people, and I actually wanted to talk to everyone and enjoy the moment instead of trying to film everything, but I could have had someone help me to film, but I just didn't really plan that out, so basically, long story short, I didn't really have any footage for day one, but... Oh my god, the amount of people that showed up was just ridiculous. And I personally, like, I was just so overwhelmed. I was just so surprised at that many people, like from like Paris, France, which I didn't really know that many people there would follow me. There was just so many people that came there just to see me. And it was honestly, like I said, really overwhelming. And it was, the thing is like, when I actually get to talk to the people that like watch my videos, when I get to talk to you guys and you tell me how much like my videos like inspire you and help you and just give like such just give such detail on exactly like what you appreciate that I'm what I'm doing and how it's helping you and just like hearing that and just like seeing the passion you got like just seeing how passionate you are telling me that that just gives me so much more inspiration to like keep doing what I'm doing and like helping you guys and just pursuing my path and honestly it's just it's kind of like a win-win situation so that's why I really like going out to these like that's why I really like going out to these events so, like I said, yeah, it was just a crazy, crazy pack, and actually I had some gifts that I want to show you guys. Right here, I actually carry this all the way from um, the airport, because I couldn't put this in my luggage, I have to carry it by hand. It's a drawing that someone made, look at this. Just look at the detail right here. 
That's very, very, very impressive. And actually, the guy who gave this to me was really, really appreciate it. Here's his Instagram right here if you want to check it out. So, focus, focus, focus. Come on. Let's go. Just focus. You know, I'll just have it on the screen. It'll be a lot easier, but thank you very, very much. And another guy, he gave me this. Right. Check this out. This is basically a pre-workout with a cork on it, right? Some Pirates of the Caribbean action, literally a skull. This is glass right here. And this thing's called poison. Like, even if this, like, this is just, that's the sickest pre-workout I've ever seen. Like, when I'm finished using this, I'm just going to keep this as a bottle. I just use this as, like, my pre-workout shaker cup. But, yeah, this was super cool. And uh, there were a few other things. Um, like, the person that gave me this, he gave me a few other pre-workout samples. And I actually got this little um, book written in French. It's like a French comic book. And, uh, yeah, that's in the other room. But, anyway... Basically, long story short, like I said, I had a fantastic time in Paris. Another thing, the food actually tasted really good. Literally, everything you eat there, anything you order, is just delicious. The best version of it you'll ever have. So yeah, I'm really excited to make more videos for you guys, kind of a different style. You'll see I want to make a little bit more deeper videos talking about more uh, deeper subjects, which is going to require more effort and more uh, planning on what I'm going to say for my part because I'm not that good at articulating a lot of the thoughts and ideas that I have, so I'm going to get a lot better at that and have better, more insightful, deeper videos for you guys coming soon. So yeah, um, like I said, it was an absolute pleasure. I had a fantastic time in Paris. The next pop-up shot we're going to have is going to be in Los Angeles, and I think it's going to be in January, the same month as my birthday. So that's going to be really cool. Can't wait to go there. Can't wait to make more videos for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to put this SD card in the computer, run this video out, have it uploaded tonight, maybe eat another meal, wake up, and basically train and plan new videos for you guys. So yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next video.